This is a patient with hypoplastic left heart syndrome. You can see the very large pulmonary artery and immediately next to it a little tiny circle of the aorta. Here we see the pulmonary veins draining into a blind left atrium, except there is a left to right shunt across the foramen valley from left atrium to right atrium. There are no venous obstructions. This patient was originally thought to have a complete AV canal because of a still image showing the papillary muscle in that picture. When we see complete AV canal and mitral atresia, we want to make sure that there is not too much tricuspid valve regurgitation. Here in the sagittal, we see a large pulmonary artery and just the tricuspid valve. The red coming towards the SVC is azagous, and that's the normal size of the azagous vein in the fetus relative to the superior vena cava. That narrowed structure right in adjacent to the aortic arch is the ascending aorta. And we will see that again in a second. Here we see the ascending aorta, which is simply a small tube and a con uh, connection to the coronary arteries from the aortic arch, which is filled by the ductus arteriosus. In this fetus, we can see the left anterior descending coronary artery coming from the bulb of the aorta. So that the ascending aorta truly is a continuation of the coronary artery.